couldn't talk to you all earlier because uh, I was going to a different place downtown. And if you know downtown Chicago, going there is highly, highly congested. Uh, I usually go there for a workshop this time. Like once a month, I go for a, a workshop. And it was extremely uh, too congested. I had to use my mind. I went underneath the Wacker Drive and had almost like a full-blown panic attack of, here, Wacker Drive is a street that's underneath, and you can't see, you know, anywhere your direction, and it goes like in a circle. So, like, if you miss your stop, you literally are going back around underground the city of Chicago, the downtown city, just going in a circle, around, around. Here we go, around in circles. So, I got so panicky, I was like, I called Daddy Key. I'm like, Dad, I don't know where the hell I am not going around. Yeah, moving forward. Uh, 
and like the precursor before you do anything else. So anything I was saying about, I didn't think uh, in some ways where I was feeling like she maybe had prepped well for the presentation. You could tell that everything we had did up until that time, time went by really fast. It was like bam, bam, bam. I was like, dang, it's 12, 12 already? So divine order. As soon as we got into her workshop, things started dragging. I was like, oh. So she's trying to tell us about how we could go about uh, in, in the workshop, how uh, you do prompts and how the way you state and use words don't help to prompt the student to know exactly what you're asking them to actually do. It's like they're like, what? Well, huh? I'm confused. Spirit told me don't do nothing early. It really said just hold off and wait because you're going to find some nuggets within this workshop that you can actually use uh, to go along with what you're going to talk about today. And I was like, okay, cool word. And I'll just wait. We ain't got to rush this. They'll get it when they get it. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, all of you said, oh, that sun shines so bright. Yeah, that the sun does me. I did the bad sun shine. No, I was playing. But that, that's nothing but just God in the universe and the source doing that. But, uh, and it's a beautiful, something about the energies today, the, the energies I can say seem like it's kind of lightening up a little bit. It's not as heavy, it's still lingering there, but it's, a, it's, it's, it's lightning. We're going like on the other side, the rough side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain, uh, on some things uh, now. Because uh, it's, it's lighter, it's just beautiful, I can tell by the energy. It's still that quiet, it's still a quiet before the storm, this underlying in there underneath, I don't know what that's coming from. Uh, at all, but I feel like we're still being prepared, but today it looked like they said, okay, we're going to give you like a little mini break because we kind of know this has been heavy for everybody. The, the, the divine and the non-divine or the divine not yet. So anyway, so she was talking and, you know, it was like, it was just like okay, so the stuff she was saying, it didn't seem like it lined up with the prompt on the piece of paper. And she's like, you know, eliminate this, eliminate that, and we was kind of debating going back and forth. Which brings me to that, it's like, you know, what are your words? Are your words that you're using kind of really, again, conflicted? Are they really helping you to get you and prepare you to where you actually want to go? You know, with things. Because a lot of times we might have the idea, like she did, she had the idea of what she wanted that workshop to go. But I don't think it went in the way it did. So that tells me, you know, you got to prepare. Then you got to make sure that what you're doing, you're following through, is aligning with making sure that that thing also manifest and then watch your wording rather or your communications rather it's verbally what you write down or what you actually say in conversations to people uh as well Ooh, it seems like i need to stick the other one there. i don't look kind of backed up over here uh so those are some things in which you got to kind of really kind of keep uh in mind as well uh i thought about also with ayana van Zandt. she talked about oh is that way better Like either way, it's gonna be a standstill. Uh, I think about with Ayana Van Zamp and her uh, talking about. It looked like this. It looked like, but hold on one second. I'm just trying to feel to see which way is best. Watch it. So, uh, trying to see which way is better. Uh, I'm sorry. Did I say that? I tight. Yeah, sorry. That's me. But I like watch because he did come, come kind of close. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> yes, I like Aunt Esther. But uh, my thing is, it's like when you're talking and you're communicating with the the uh, divine masculine. Uh, another way when we talk about communicating clearly with clarity and precision, we have to watch also our wording. I told you about it as far as us when we're communicating and our thinking and then also that, that we have a tendency to sometimes we speak, I call it fluent karmic. Uh, which means through our words and actions, we bring on more lessons or more hard lessons, like that hard teaching to say, okay, either it caused that separation to occur, or you got the eight of cups still, or you got to find yourself, you know, saying, okay, now I got to give you a uh, piece of my mind, but you got to find a way to give the piece of your mind in a nice way, just like what I had said earlier, you know. I, I said what it was, but you got to speak your truth, but speak your truth that at the same time you are not trying to put someone down or put the DM down in the process 
before you got to sit there and really, as like Jupiter 11, 11 say, really sit there and shift out this stuff. Does it need to be said? Does it something that could it wait? Could it be something that's like, okay, is it going to be for the betterment of us to be grow more closer or for us to connect better? Or is it something that we should actually be saying, you know what, uh, that it don't seem like that's really worth me bringing up actually that subject uh, right now at this moment. Uh, I just like doing this, but I'm going to have to. Uh, yeah. See, keep for, for that for that one. Ooh, yeah, there's a, a big old thing behind me. Yeah, I have to move out the way. So, uh, those are some things that you got to remember when you're talking to your DM. No, I didn't do no mess like that. <laughs> when you're talking to your DM, you know, I think about Yana Van Zandt. She had said one time that uh, she's like, you know, with men in general, whether they're divine or not divine, or they're crispy or they're not extra crispy. Uh, she said that you remember, you know, with men, you can only say so much anyway. I think about it, she's like, keep it down to like 10 sentences, whatever you got to say or less. <laughs> I just tell them, if you try to give him a peace of mind, a lot of times I used to, I remember when we first had started off, I used to give him what like, I call the dissertations. And he was like, mm. You know, and then I looked at retrospect. You know, I think in some ways, I, I took with him, I was like, I can't really dial me down because you see me regular with you if I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm talkative. I'm communicative. So, communicative. And so, if I don't say something always gets lost a little bit into translation. But you get what my point is saying, and I might be long-winded, but it's very detailed and it all comes together. So to me, that's where we come for clarity. And then also, that's the like time I seen gift. I passed on the, uh, I parked on the uh, uh, floor that said gift. So a member, so that means to be present. I got you. He's like, we keep on trying to remind you to be there and be present. That's why we keep on showing you gifts. So to be in the now. So my thing is, is to kind of really understand that, you know, when you're talking to them, again, make sure that what you say is what the point that you want to get across not doing any extras bringing up dredging up stuff from the past that's why they told me about the gift stay in the present now you know because a lot of times as a feminine period where you're divine or not we like to go all the way back at the back uh, i know how mom used to have arguments with dad and it's like my god even this period he's like jesus you remember everything you ain't let go of nothing that's what she did my dad told my mom in the spirit, Jesus Christ, please Louise. So he's like, you remember everything. And, and we do. We have a, especially when it's called pain and it's cut, like there are broken pieces, as Jubilee 11 never said, uh, uh, about some things that people have cut you. You're going to remember that. The words is gone, but the scars are still left there. And so you got to remember again that when you're talking to them, they make sure that you're staying in the present, in the now, not bringing up all that extra other stuff. Uh, like that as well. I mean, if you're going to bring it up, it's got to be a darn good validation that you're going to do it and you're going to drop it and you ain't going to bring it up like no more. Otherwise, you haven't really forgiven or you haven't let it go. You know, that's a true sign about that and you keep on revisiting it. So either your divine masculine ain't gave you the answer that you're looking for and so you're going to keep on bringing it back up again. Oh, you are out for a second. And, um, uh, if he's not doing that, he's, he, he, you haven't brought up uh, something or it hasn't resonated or it hasn't been able for you to say, okay, he said it right, so knock it out your hand and just kind of like leave it alone. And you still want to keep on grasp and hold on to it because what he said ain't really gave you no relief like uh, Pepto-Bismol <laughs> yeah, to what's going on with you. Um, and that might be crazy why you got gas. So, okay, that's interesting. So, you have to remember that, again, when you're talking to the DM, that you don't want to talk fluent comic, and you want to make sure that whatever you're saying, that you are saying it with precision, less words, not putting a lot of extra. A lot of times, if I have to text or say something to the DM, because a lot of times it has to be uh, a lot of more of uh, communication in that way because of him being um, busy. Uh, and so I've got to, to the point that I've crafted how to be able to say what I got to say and let it go. I think about my mom and my dad, especially when he's towards the end. A lot of times, she was, I was learning kind of the art of that with dealing with, uh, with male energy, period. He's like, you know, a lot of times I just tell dad about whatever, something I didn't like, because he was getting kind of dementia a little bit. See now, let's put it that way. 
and you know a lot of times he could not remember or whatever but she's like you know I had to kind of correct him a little bit and so she would tell him whatever sometimes she would go off on him or something like she had told him before uh, a little bit but she's like you know this is what I do I just tell him God, very firmly about what's going on what I don't like what he got to change and then she said I go and then I change the subject I don't linger I'm gonna stay on it for a long time so I get that's another way of you saying you know you're closing uh, with almost less words you're being precise you're doing that and you're moving and you're changing the energies you know because who wants to be constantly beat over the head about something over and over again rather you're a masculine or a feminine don't nobody want to be constantly repeated about your past indiscretions anyway uh, and so that doesn't work. So you got to find ways in, uh, in order to kind of like get your point of view over, but don't just keep on beating at it at all. Just kind of like, it's called drop the mic. Just give it to them, drop the mic, and, and walk away. You know, you have no extra and feel good. Also, when you're doing that, you know, just make sure that within yourself that you're saying those things that are making you feel uh, good. Like you could really own it and it's like, that's my truth. You didn't add any, any extras on to it that make you say, uh, I maybe I shouldn't have said that. Uh, I think maybe I had, you know, I kind of over embellished that too, you know, and that's what's going to haunt you. But if you're standing and you're standing in your truth and you're saying what's happening or what's going on uh, at that moment, then there's nothing to be feeling guilty. And you got to kind of watch that because sometimes uh, those, again, that guilt, I would say go back to your childhood thing, that guilt uh, and judgment will kind of stop you from being able to express yourself uh, a, a, as far as communicating. I think I'm more on the communicating side. And then in your thinking, you know, you don't trust your thinking as well, too, because you're thinking about the judgment and the critical, the, uh, the critic will come out as I said in that. So go back to that uh, video where you go back talking about uh, judgment and um, I think it's judgment and guilt. Uh, those things about how the critic kind of takes over and gives you uh, activity to kind of shut it down. So when I'm thinking about thinking, you don't get to the point that when you come from that background and that's one of your childhood wounds that you had judgment and, um, uh, and guilt, a lot of times you don't trust you, and validate and know what is actually good for you. You have kind of like a, uh, I ain't too sure because you know you keep on remembering your mother's voice or your parents' voice or whoever it was that said that, and so you kind of don't trust which one is really valid. Your true feelings, your true core of what is good and okay for you with inside, uh, and so that's why you probably need to do some also some exercises like your solar plexus as well. Uh, I do have also the exercise for that, uh, which would be also uh, your self-worth would be good meditation. You could go to divineyoursouls.11.co for that. Or you could also get my workbook uh, that I have also uh, for that that's uh, in Divine. That's for $11.11. That helps you to give you like the things to actually to do. I had some more activities, although... I gave some of them in the in the video, but I gave some more in the workbook that's more detailed uh, for you as well. Um, trying to see about that. What else could help you with the keys? But again, just remember again some key points to kind of know what to do as far as, as far as thinking and communicating clearly. You know, think just the old adage: think before you speak. Think, think it out. Think about does that resonate? Does it make you feel good? Does it make you feel like you? it helps you with your progression moving forward? Is it divine? Is it helping you to ascend, level up? Or is it making you go two steps backwards? You know, that goes to anything. Thinking and communicating. You know, is it also saying what I want to say? You know, uh, and what I want to portray on to this person when I'm communicating uh, to someone? You know, uh, that's one thing learn how to use again less words in what you're doing you know it don't take all that extra are you revisiting the past when you're talking to the dm are you seeming like you have forgiven are you speaking fluent karmic uh when you are also talking um to your dm or anything else is this bringing like different and life is in the power of the tongue is it adding on to creating deafness killing somebody else's uh you know 
motivation or inspiration to do things by you simply by the words and the things that you are also speaking uh, as well. Uh, that's something that you got to kind of keep uh, in mind too when you're communicating and being precise. Some of those are some of the keys that I do. I know most of the time, sometimes before I even make a decision, I tell a person, you know, give me about 24 hours. Sometimes you don't have time to think, especially when you talk about thinking about something, you know, give 24 hours. Sometimes even when the DM calls me or texts me, uh, sometimes I take my time in responding because I want to make sure it settles right with me, make sure that I'm saying what or portraying what I want to say as well to him. Uh, and I don't want to just pop off, especially when it makes me angry or something. I'm upset about something like that. I definitely take my time and respond. I say, okay, read it, reread it, see if that's what he actually wanted to portray. Or that's anybody, really, you know. And I, I and it helps me, you know, to kind of count to ten, kind of slow down, kind of take in and digest what they're actually saying, and you know, like that. Or even ask them, you know, can you can you go on here and just kind of repeat what you're saying? Because I want to make sure we're on the same page. I did that one time with the DM too. I was like, okay, I want to make sure I'm hearing what you are actually um, saying. Oh, we got to park way back here. Oh, Jesus Christ. This girl, we need to get rid of this. Hold on a second. I'm about to take this spot. Need to uh, get get rid of these other extra cars this person got here. That's a whole different story. We'll talk about that. <laughs> no, I am not furious. I'm not clearly spiritual uh, uh, all the way. <laughs> I still got some human in me. Because <laughs> that here, these cars they got here. Help us, Lord. Anyway. That's a whole different story. I'll talk to y'all about another day about that. Hold on a second. I want to make sure I'm doing right. That's that day. Right, I'm home. I'm picking up my mom. I call her my recycled teenager at, at the house here and stuff. So I am now I'm the opposite. You have drove me home. <laughs> so until next time, that is it. Practice your thinking with clarity and precision in thinking and communicating this week. So, as always, in party, stay uplifted, stay motivated, stay ascending. Namaste, namago. Love you.